This episode of the Brilliance Plus Passion podcast is brought to you by Groundhog Day is an event, not a business strategy. Are you ready to finally solve those pesky issues that keep holding back your business success and never seem to go away? Embrace the power of the spring formula that unearths the issues and opportunities burrowed beneath the surface and grow your business so you thrive from your intersection of your brilliance and your passion. Claim your copy today at www.thegroundhogbook.com. Welcome to the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast. Join us as we celebrate entrepreneurs, business creators, and brilliant minds who reveal what they are doing to make the world a better place by being part of it. Be sure to visit our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com. While you're there, subscribe to us via your favorite network. Now sit back, lean in, tune in, get your notepad and two pens ready, and let's get started. My name is Adam Homey. I'm your host, and I am honored by your wise decision to tune in and invest in yourself today. Today, right now, we're speaking with Daniel Giordano, who is known as the Business Buddha. There is so much you can learn about Daniel. He's a very interesting person. We're so happy to have him here. Uh, Let me just tell you a little bit about his background. He's been creating beautiful homes for the affluent for almost 20 years. Then he had a defining moment. His first child was born, and he decided to figure out how to be the husband and father that was going to be home with his family. So this has led to his work where he helps people worldwide and how to transfer their, or excuse me, transform their businesses and impact more lives with the power of the internet, influencing, in, influencing influencers and inspiring world changers to get off the sidelines and live life all in. This is almost a lead into our very first question, but I wanted to sort of set the stage. You can visit our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com. Check out our interview with Daniel, and you'll see links to his website and more information about him in the show notes. But for now, Daniel, welcome aboard. It's so great to have you here. I'm glad to be here, Adam. I appreciate the opportunity. You bet. And the first question we like to ask is, I gave a little bit of a preview, but let's hear it in your own words. How does the work you do make the world a better place for your clients, customers, and the world at large? You know, that's a that's a loaded question, but we'll distill it down to simplicity here. Um, so, you know, for the longest time, I ran an agency and lead generation was the main focus, right? And a yep. lot of people would come to me for lead generation. And what I what I discovered over the years was uh, that, uh, you know, traditional businesses didn't excite me as much as certain types of businesses, right? So businesses that have transformational type products and services, uh, impact driven entrepreneurs, you know, people are making a difference in the world. That's those are the ones that I would gravitate to, you know, naturally. I'm a little slow, so it took me a while to discover that on my own. Right. <laughs> um, but that's really where it um, where it actually uh, started for me is realizing that, you know, if, if I can influence people and, and help create a ripple effect through other people's messages, helping them get their message out there, um, that's that's what drives me to uh, uh, to have conversations and help people take the next step. Awesome. So in your words, what is it that you actually do? Great question. <laughs> yeah, so what day is I, it? I, right? I know. It seems like, it seems like you have a few things going on. You're a bit of a polymath, which I love because I'm kind of that way too. So tell us in your own words just what it is today, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, the, at the core of it, it's a business coach, right? Business yeah. coach, business consultant, right? Um, but at the uh, – uh, you know, at the, uh, like you mentioned, business Buddha, like there's this, just, just this calm from the skill sets that I've developed over the years to be able to come in and see things differently, uh, when people are in chaos and it's not just always business related. Cause what I discovered years ago was, uh, you know, people run businesses, right. And people have problems, right. People have challenges. Um, so I'm able to coach them through, you know, different things that they might be going, maybe going on for them, uh, you know, pretty much in every area of their life and help them discover, you know, what the right path is for them to get them back on track so they can accelerate revenue and grow. Right. Awesome. So what are a few questions like the FAQs that people have as they're going through their process of deciding to work with you? Um, one of the, one of the big questions I always get asked is like, you know, well, you know, I can work with any, you know, uh, any advertising agency out there. Like, you know, what's the different about you? 
Um, and this goes back to, I think, uh, my days as a Victorian restoration uh, contractor years ago. Wow. Um, where, where, where I would where I would actually, um, you know, not be the cheapest guy on the block. Like I wasn't compared to any other painting contractor. And people would always ask me, why are your prices higher? Right. And I said, do you want the best or do you want the Walmart version? Right. I was like, that's how I see things. Like I'm going to get, I'm going to deliver the best. And with that comes a cost. So I saw my worth um, in that industry many moons ago um, and transferred that into what I do today, where I may not be the least expensive, but you're going to get me. You're going to get all of me and you're going to get the best uh, version of me and the best, uh, you know, deliverables based on what we're you know working on. So um, it's just important for me to to make sure that, you know, the, that that person's the right fit for me. But that, you know, those questions are usually around, you know, pricing or, you know, why should I choose you over, you know, X, Y, Z? Um, and I and I was telling people, I was like, look, X, Y, Z, the other company might be better for you. Right. I might yeah. not be your guy. Right. Um, that's the beauty of this industry is like I get to pick and choose who I get to work with. And, you know, that's a great place to be. And I've been mm -hmm. in situations before where I failed to pick and choose and I mm -hmm. failed to put in safeguards to protect my space from bad fit referrals right. and from relationships where basically I didn't have a choice. And what I've discovered is we do so much more for the world when we are able to select the clients we work with and have the clients who choose to have us work with them have the same similar selection type process right uh i have i mean i just think of it this way i've had clients where or prospects rather where they checked off all 15 of the boxes in the checklist but eh, something was off with something mm -hmm. they said or there just wasn't quite a connection and here's what i love to say when i say no I'm creating somebody else's yes. Right. So I'm doing a favor for somebody. I'm giving somebody an opportunity that otherwise they may not have had. Because if that prospect is going around looking to hire someone, they need to hire someone. If it's not going to be you, it's going to be somebody. Right. And somebody out there is wishing, hoping, and praying that that prospect would show up on their door right now. Right. Yeah, so definitely. let him go. Let him go. What are a few questions you wish people would ask? Um, how do I get started? Right. Yeah. <laughs> As, you know, it's always great to get them to that point, you know, where they're yeah. ready to just get going. Right. Um, you know, that's a simple one. Um, really, I, I think another question would be, you know, a lot of times people look at, you know, especially with the, you know, advent of social media, they, they tend to put people on pedestals based on, you know, social media posts. And, and I, I'm not a private guy, but I don't like post everything that's out there. I'm not a flashy guy. I'm not posting pictures yeah. of Lambos and all the other craziness that's out there. Um, but <laughs> what I, what I realize is that, you know, they'll, they'll think that there's this overnight success, like, you know, and, and just being real about it is like, look, you know, based on where you're currently at to get where you want to go, it's going to take some work. It's going to take consistency. It's not going to be easy. Right. And I wish that they would come to the plate with asking like, what's it going to take? Right. Uh, in order for me to reach this, like you're not going to make a million dollars with a, with a, uh, a mm -hmm. hundred dollar a month ad spend, right. This isn't going to happen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like, so <laughs> just being real about it. Right. Right. And I, and I also believe that there's a reason why there are smaller steps. Like I've seen mm -hmm. the meme of there are two ladders. One has the rungs at the normal space and the other has the rungs like this. Right. They say that, you know, they say the, there are smaller steps for a reason. So if you're doing $100 in ad spend, you're not going to make a million dollars now, but it may but it may well get you to your next level. So sure. I've been an entrepreneur for 18 years, so I figure my overnight success should happen what? Sometime yeah. in the next 18 <laughs> months, give or right. take. I mean, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, we 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 normally leave that part of it on the cutting room floor. So I like to remind people that everybody else does the same thing. Right. Yeah. So let's uh, let's uh, get to know Dan a little bit more and tell us uh, something that uh, tell us something that people who know you would be surprised to learn about you. Um, so I think one thing would be like, you know, I come across as a calm guy and I am, you know, at, at my core level, yes. but, but I've had my days in the dojo. So I am a martial artist. Right. Um, uh -huh. and I, and I love being in the dojo. Don't like the, you know, as the older I get, I, the less I like the pound and, you know, ground type thing. Uh, but, but just, you know, love being in that environment. It's, you know, competitive, you know, space to just, you know, just be me and have fun, but also there's so many lessons in that. Right. Um, so, you know, just, that would be one thing that I would say is like, you know, just coming in and, you know, uh, for me, the correlation in life is having a beginner's mind, right? Um, not thinking you arrived because if you think you arrived, you're dead. 
Um, you know, like there's, there's never an arrival. There's, you know, this, there's always this journey that we get to continue on and there's always a new level of learning and and implementation and things you can apply in your life. Yeah. What do you hope people say about you when you're not around to hear it? Um, that, you know, Dan's a heart centered guy that, that, you know, just has made a difference in the world and he's impacted millions of people. That's, I love that. I love that. Now, if you could go back in time. And change one thing you've done or one thing you've experienced. What would it be, and why? Um, I would say I would have hired a coach sooner. Okay. Right, and and really gain clarity on my strengths and gifts. Right, um, because I feel like you know sometimes there's always missed opportunities because we try and figure things out. Especially if you have what I call the uh, lone wolf syndrome. Right, um, uh-huh. you know, trying to do it all on your own at times. Right. Um, I've had teams, I've had hired a bunch of employees over the years. I have people that work for me, but yet I still catch myself doing things, right. That I don't need to be doing right. Because I have people that can do it. And, and really realizing that if I had had the right mentor in place many years earlier, right. I could have accelerated the process even more. Right. And sometimes they say this, the, the teacher appears when the student is ready. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it's, it's really hard to say. I was actually blessed with mentorship very early on. Mm-hmm. And I've had a couple of different mentors over the years. And I recognize no matter what level you're at, somebody else has already been down that path. Right. So there's somebody yeah. ahead of you that is eager to give back, to, to you know, hand you the relay baton and help you win the next section of the race. So I encourage all of our listeners to think about who that may be or what that may be and how they can bring that in for support. So what famous person, alive or dead, would you like to meet? And what questions would you have for them if you had the opportunity? Ah, that's a good question. Um, let's see, alive or dead? Well, I, you know, you know, what's interesting is I always have this, uh, for years I would recognize that, that we all fall short, right? So I would get close to some pretty high profile people and then I would be sorely disappointed, right? Uh (laughs) So, (laughs) right. Not that they're bad people, just, you know, because of that perception that we put on people, you know, when they reach certain, you know, what we perceive as levels, right? Right. Um, so I think, you know, the, uh, one of the, I, I honestly, I think the, the biggest one would be <laughs> jokingly, but seriously, I have lots of questions for God. Right. And yep. like, really, why did you put that tree in the, in the, in the garden? Right. <laughs> uh-huh. like, like really, you know, under, you know, trying to understand, I get, I may never understand some of the psychology or the things of why we do yeah. what we do, but I think, you know, just really, I have a long list for God of different questions that I would ask, but that would be like the number one, like why put that there when you know, yeah. it's like telling a two-year-old don't, don't touch that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and and, I, and one of my answers to the question, because I have a few, one of them is Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Uh, I would like to find out from him a few things. I'd like to know, uh, did he change the water into wine because he forgot his wallet when he and his buddies went out to the bar? <laughs> right. um, I, I know it was supposed to be during a wedding celebration. Right. I want to know how he felt when he took a bullwhip and chased the merchants out of the temple. Right. I want to know how that really felt for him. Mm-hmm. And just overall, I'd like to get a sense of, what the actual facts were behind some of those stories. Cause I have a feeling that he was even more interesting than the Bible makes him out to be. Right. I mean, he yeah. strikes me as probably one of the more dynamic individuals who has walked the face of the earth and just over two millennia of the, his story being reinterpreted and edited to fit other people's agendas. I'd like right. to know what really happened. I have a yeah. feeling the story is even more interesting. Right. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. So uh, what motivates and inspires you to keep going when you're having a tough time or facing a challenge? Um, I think that, you know, the bottom line is, is that we're all going to have challenges and frustrations and obstacles in our lives. Um, and just realizing that like each day, like, you know, um, somebody said this to me years ago and it always stuck with me. It was, um, hey, uh, if we all took our problems and put them into a hat and we pulled out somebody else's problems, we would want ours back. Right. Yep. Um, and and. I always, it always stuck with me to realize that, you know, my problems are, and challenges that I face in life are, uh, are just that mine. Right. And they're, uh-huh. you know, and, and there's lessons to be learned from that, but really what drives me is to help people uncover, right. Uh, how they can live an all in life, you know, live a life that's, that's full. Right. Yep. Um, that, because I think in today's society, especially like, and for as long as I can remember, you know, there's a lot of people that just live in mediocrity and, and really don't strive for anything in life. And they get stuck in the, you know, the mundane and not really live life passionately and, and, uh, enjoying time with their families and being able to do the things that they've dreamt about. Um, and, you know, uh, and, and now are, you know, able to achieve 
much more rapidly with all the, you know, all the things that we have available to us today. Yeah. Now, finally, I know you have a special gift for our listeners. It's a really great one, and I will introduce that. But in general, right now, what is one action you urge our listeners to take as soon as they finish streaming this episode? Uh, first action, I would say, is clarity, right? Get clear on what you want in every area of your life. But obviously, we're talking about business here. So what do you actually really want in your business? And more importantly, why? Really understand asking your question, you know, asking the question over and over again till you dig deeper because that emotion behind it is what's going to drive you to actually create what you actually really want. And if there's yeah. no connection to it, just flush it out and start over until you find it. Yeah, as, I, as, I, as I've said in my book many times, ask yourself as you go through the day, what would happen if we didn't do this at all? Mm -hmm. That will help you cut out some things that are just policies and procedures that were temporary overreaction or permanent overreactions, the temporary blips on the radar screen. And it'll also surface what you need to be doing more of, and it'll show where the gaps are. So right. it's a great question to ask. And that takes us into the special invitation you have for our listeners. For those who see the video version, you see it on your screen right now. It's also in the show notes and our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com. For those who are out jogging, it is Daniel... Giordano, G-I-O-R-D-A-N-O dot com forward slash all in plan. So this is a one page template and training for business consultants, experts and coaches that will help you discover the exact steps entrepreneurs are using to three times or three X their business in 90 days or less and impact more lives without frustration overwhelm or the guru bs i've checked it out myself it's really cool it's a pretty simple worksheet with a little training and you can quickly find some of that clarity that daniel is urging you to seek so if you're ready to take his advice and seek clarity and you need a tool or a guide to help you do that here's one for you that i think is really awesome with that daniel giordano thank you so much for being with us today it's been an honor and believe me in education Thank you for tuning into the Brilliance Plus Passion podcast, where we celebrate entrepreneurs, business creators, and brilliant minds who are making a difference for their community, market, and audience. Remember to visit our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're here, subscribe to us via your favorite network. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast.